Hello and welcome to this tutorial on STM32 uh, series of microcontrollers. In this uh, course, we will be using the STM32F103C8 microcontroller, and for that, we can use the uh, pre built hardware which is commonly available in market, and that is. Uh, by the name of blue pill blue pill <clears throat> this board contains this microcontroller and um, 8 megahertz external oscillator and uh, boot 0 and boot 1 pins for uh, mm, selection of the bootloader uh, or however you can also use the external dedicated bootloader like ST-Link to program this. We will be also using uh, the Proteus simulator uh, uh, for uh, demonstrating the execution of the code which will be the same one as it happen as it executes in the <coughs> blue pill development board. However, it makes it much more easier to test and debug uh, the code when we use this uh, simulator. And many people who do not have access to the physical hardware, they can also enjoy learning this. So let's begin. So first of all, <clears throat> we need to have this uh, STM32 Cube ID software, which you can download uh, directly from the STM uh, my STM electronics site and just go to the Google and search for STM32 IDE download and the very first site listed here will be the STM32 development environment from here you can get this software uh, and download it installation is fairly simple there is nothing much we can discuss about it so after installation you will have this thing so i have created a soft uh, uh, a folder by the name of stm32 youtube and i will be creating all the projects in this folder so let's begin the IDE. So when you begin it, you will be asked what will be the, your workspace. So you can browse and point to your folder where you want to keep all your projects. Uh, and then you press the launch. The cube ID basically is a, uh, software <clears throat> and integrated development environment provided by the STM microelectronics itself. It contains the editor, the debugger, as well as the compiler and all the necessary tools which are required for uh, developing the applications. So you start a new STM32 project. and then you will be given a choice of the microcontrollers which uh, it offers when you install it for the first time and you run it for the first time you should have the internet connection so that it can download all the necessary support files required for your particular selection of microcontroller. So once this target selection dialog box appears, you can type here STM32F103C8. So here is the STM32 F103C8 T6 microcontroller, which is present on the uh, <coughs> Blue Pill board. 
and this has 64 kilobytes of memory and 20 kilobytes of RAM. So let's choose it and we give the project a name. Uh, so for first name program will be the hello world which will be definitely a blinking LED and then you click next and only select this copy only the necessary library files Now this is an excellent tool provided by this <coughs> STM Microelectronics which was initially available as a separate tool called STM32MX, CubeMX. This tool provides a visual uh, point and click configurations for the microcontroller which you will have to do manually. Um, it would require a lot of code to write. So what you can do is you can just write, just select the pins and, uh, and, and it will generate the code for you. And here are all the different uh, peripherals which are available and you can configure those things. This is just like the one-time setup information that you have to do with any project and <clears throat> the code which is required for initialization of the oscillators and the configuration of the pins whether they are input pins or whether they are output pins and initialization of the analog circuitry timers and other things etc so all these things they have to be they can be easily set up here uh, using this uh, visual tool so let's say we want to use this pa0 pin of our microcontroller as an output pin so we select here and gpio output pin so this pin has been set as gpio output pin then here is the clock configuration presently we will be using the internal 8 megahertz oscillator so here is the internal 8 megahertz oscillator which is going all the way through the all the peripherals as 8 megahertz oscillator right so after that you can click the save or you can just click on this device configuration tool button and it will generate the necessary code for us now this code has been generated automatically and you can see there are a lot of comments uh, uh, present in it these comments actually help this uh, visual uh, Cube MX uh, software to identify which part of the code it has been generated and which part of code you are going to write. So it is better not to delete these um, configuration, these comments and use the space provided in between to write your own code. This is usually required because if you want to change the pin configurations in, uh, in this uh, visual tool then the regenerated code will overwrite your code but if you honor and this uh, these comments it will be uh, preserved so here is your main function and these are the codes which have been generated by our this uh, graphic tool right so now in this main function in this while loop we write our code we want to turn the led connected on port pa0 pin as high with some delay and then low it or or turn it off for that we will be using the hall libraries which are called hardware abstraction libraries 
and these are provided by the STM Microelectronics. So you don't have to download it from anywhere. They are part of and parcel of this software. Underscore GPIO and pressing the control and space will give you all the <clears throat> commands related to this. And we can say right pin. So here GPIO X will be the port number. GPIO A and pin number will be GPIO pin 0. I have just pressed control space to uh, and GPIO pin state as reset. So reset will be 0. So this command will actually just like in Arduino you use uh, digital write. This is the just like a digital write. Then you want to give it a delay. This is delay in milliseconds. So we want to give a 500 milliseconds delay. And then again, all underscore GPIO write pin GPIO port A GPIO pin PIO pin 0 and state will be GPIO pin state will be set. This will turn the LED pin high and then again hall underscore delay of 500 milliseconds. Now our program is complete. This, this line will turn on the uh, GPIO pin A, this pin as high and then and then it will delay for 500 milliseconds and then it will turn it off. Now if you want to compile it you will just go to project and build the project. Project and build the project. So now you can see there is zero errors and zero warnings. So if you go to the folder, you will see this hello world folder and here there will be the debug folder and this is the output files. You will see this hello world ELF file which is the <coughs> file that you will download into your microcontroller. This file actually contains also debug information. So uh, uh, this is slightly larger size file. So after that you just press this uh, run hello world program and you connect your programmer and this will be uploaded into your uh, development board. However, since we are going to use this code on the Proteus ID, we need to generate a hex file. So in this project, go to properties and go to C++ build and go to settings. And here post build options and select the Intel hex format and apply and close. You have to do it once for the project. And after that you can regenerate the port by building the project. Now if you go to the STM32 cube and this our folder, now you can see there is a hello world hex file which is only 30 kilobyte. This hex file can be uploaded into the either into the development board as well 
or into the Proteus simulations. So, in this part of the tutorial, we have successfully created our uh, uh, hex file which we can use in the Proteus simulation. So, in the next uh, uh, presentation or in the next demonstration, we will create actually the Proteus board and then we will call the same file into the board to simulate it. Thank you very much and thanks for watching. Uh, we hope that uh, you will be uh, benefiting from this talk and just give us a feedback in your comments what you think and what else is required in this lecture. Thank you very much.